Bring out Lady Fardendale. Captain Sharp of the 95th, madam. I'm Isabella, Lady Farthingdale. I've come to take you home, milady. Oh, no, Sharpe. We've changed our mind. We want double the amount. We've paid you. That buys the lady's virtue. But only for five days. You come back here, same time, same place, with double the amount of gold, Sharpe. And if we do come back with the gold, how do we know you'll release them then? You'll just have to take my word for it. And if you're a minute late, we'll bust them. Pass them around the boys. And a good busting it'll be too. Show them your goodies, my lady. Stripper! Oh, I know you. Do you? Battle of Televera. I know your name in a tick. No names for the fighting squad, Sharpie. Stripper! Let the frogs do it. No! If you want to shame somebody, shame me. Show Sharpie what you've got, my lady. Stop sharp here, I'll stop flog around the convent. Strip your bodies, Missy. My compliments, ma'am. Shall I give your regards to your husband? Message. Come back soon, Captain Sharp. And sit sharp on your way, boy. Take him away! Door. Not many, but enough to protect you till dawn. What was happening at dawn? Hopefully a crack company arrives and we effect a rescue. I knew everything would be all right as soon as I saw you. You haven't changed much in three years, you know. Risen in the ranks, though. Much like you, my lady. So tell me, how did you get to become the wife of such an important man? I was mistress to a duke. When Sir Augustus took a fancy to me, my duke managed to pass me off as some kind of distant relation. A whore to a duchess, eh? Sir Augustus is a snob. By the time he found out I was a whore, it was too late, and he had to keep my little history a secret. So why did he bring you to Spain? To hide me, I suppose. A few questions asked here. How long is it till dawn? Three hours. But this is my husband's watch. He loaned it me for the night. Might I suggest a similar arrangement in regard to um, another piece of his property? You could maybe call it a debt of honor. I have another woman now. Yes, but she's not here. Have you no morals? Have you read Voltaire? Yes. He's very sensible about sharpshooters. Well, he's more sensible about morals. Voltaire says, 
I have no morals, yet I'm a very moral person. And that's how I think I am. That's how I think you are too.